Hello everybody, how's it going? Good, good, good. This is a somber day, a somber day. Uh, I looked through last month's TBR and what I actually finished. And it is just ridiculous. <clears throat> so, a lot of you posted um, on that TBR video, I asked, what books do you think I finish, and what books do you think I won't finish? Um, and basically, everyone was kind of right and kind of wrong. Um, uh, this last TBR was kind of a train wreck, and I'm going to blame March Mystery Madness for it. Um, when we were doing uh, the live streams yesterday, um, one of the questions came up was, do you shy away from mysteries before March Mystery Madness because you're like saving them up or whatever? And I'm like, no, 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 I don't care, blah, blah, blah. I evidently totally care, because that's exactly what I did. So, um, let's get to the, um, ridiculousness. Real quick before I start, I'm going to make a formal announcement in a little bit, but I want to give everyone as much time as possible. If you are participating in March Mystery Madness, or are thinking about participating in March Mystery Madness, um, I'm going to be hosting a read-along of Agatha Christie's Death in the Clouds um, starting on March 6th, and we're just going to read one chapter a day um, through the month of March, and um, until the book's done. And um, we'll chat about it on the Discord server, links down below. And um, yeah, but I'll do a real announcement about it, but I just want to give everyone as much time um, as they can to pick that book up. It should be a pretty easy one to get your hands on. Let's start um, with the books that I finished, okay? so. 1933 was a bad year by John Fonte. Kothar, Barbarian Swordsman by Gardner F. Fox. Brute and Brass by Harry Winnington. Blonde on the Street Corner by David Goodis. River Girl by Charles Williams. And Pulp Friction by Michael Bronsky. <clears throat> so you're looking at that and you're like, wow. You, you read six books out of, like, what, 74 that you had on your TBR? Let, let's go through the TBR real quick of books that I didn't finish. No, let's actually do the books that I didn't even start. Uh, the Evil Friendship by Ben Packer. Whip Hand by Charles Wolford. Death Trap by John D. MacDonald. Blade One. Bronze Axe by Jeffrey Lord, Savage Bride by Cornell Woolrich, Not I, Said the Vixen by Bill Ballinger, um, Fungus, who I can't remember who it's by, I still never wrote it down here. I don't know if I even said I was going to read all these, these were just the books on my list. Um, so, these make me feel guilty. Um, Screaming Mimi, and we've talked about that, so I won't bring it up again. Bobby the Brain um, by Bobby the Brain Heenan. Untamed Lust by Ori Hitt. Uh, Shoot the Piano Player by David Goodis. Kitten with a Whip, which we're going to come back to that at a later time because, um, yeah, um, cu These Curious Pleasures by Sloan Britton, and that's it. So those are the books that I never even opened, that I had planned on opening. And then there were the books on the chopping block. Some of these were on the chopping block from last time. 
of The Long Ride by James McKimmy. Did I finish it? No, I didn't. Um, and I'm going to put this book on hold. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this book. As I was reading it, I was enjoying it. But right now, I'm reading a lot of different books. And it's just because of my living situation more than anything else. If I'm over here, I'll read something. If I'm over here, I'll pick something else up and start reading it. If I'm in the car, I listen to an audiobook. And I don't have... Um, I, I just, there's too many characters, too many point of view characters going back and forth, um, for me to be able to, like, remember what's going on. Like, I don't want to have to, like, go, wait, who was doing what, and go back and look at the last chapter, and then that only covers one character, so that doesn't help. A whole lot when I go back to this other one and that character's not even involved yet. So I'm sure as the book goes, it's gonna like, everyone will be together and it'll be a lot easier. But um, just right now, I'm just not feeling it. Um, and Epitaph for a Tramp by David Markson. I'm just I read the first chapter, wasn't into the voice of it, and um, if I didn't have so many other good books that I want to read, like sitting around, you know, like I wouldn't, I probably would have just kept reading this, but um, I just don't have the patience for it right now. And then um, I also put the kibosh on Strange Sisters by Fletcher Flora um, just because it, like it was freaking depressing as all hell and I don't want to read anything depressing right now so <laughs> I'm just like uh, no I'll come back to this at a later time um, was that it of books that yeah Okay, so you're saying, okay, well, what the hell are you doing then? You know, like, what have you been doing all month? Wow. One thing I did was I started reading um, the second Kothar Barbarian Swordsman book called Kothar of the Magic Sword. I'm about halfway through it, and it's really good, but... I'm at a point now in the book where I feel like my good buddy Gardner F. Fox um, is feeling like he needs to do a lot of world building. And there's not as much um, kiss kiss slash slash. Um, and that's what I go to barbarian books for. Um, world building's cool, but, like, it's like Robert E. Howard did it the right way. When you have a character, and people would argue if Conan's even a point-of-view character, but when you have a character who's so barbaric, let's say, And with Conan, what was great about it was that Conan would be like, huh, if he didn't understand something, it would be, huh, that's some sorcery crap. I don't care about that. I just know I don't like it. Moving right along. Um, but I'm in this bit in this Kothar book where he's sitting with this chick and talking to her about where they're at and what happened and it's like pages and pages of what about this da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba da and so um, this type of it almost feels like like a early Sherlock Holmes book when it's like oh well how did all this happen 
Well, let me tell you a story that'll last the next, like, 17 chapters about people you've never met in this story so far. Um, so, I was really excited about Kothar, and then I was just like, ugh. So, um, right now, the first Kothar book is quite good. Um, the second one is getting a bit... Um, but that's not all that happened. Because I'm doing the series on the Conan chronology and the H.P. Lovecraft Cthulhu Mythos, I've been reading a lot of um, Robert E. Howard and H.P. Lovecraft. But I'm also doing research on them. So, like, I'm going to a lot of websites and reading articles and I'm going through the books that I do have looking for like introductions and just information like that so that was kind of taking up a lot of my reading time and then something happened that um, I can't describe because it is a good thing but it feels like a naughty thing a naughty thing I don't know if you guys have noticed this, and this happened a long time ago, I just never really looked for anything, but um, Audible, the Amazon audiobook app, now has this thing that has included titles, yes, included titles, that uh, don't cost anything extra. And me being the um, fiscally conservative young man that you've all grown to know and love um, went kind of crazy and um, got a ton of free ebook or audiobooks and started listening to lots of them. One I got was um, the end of the story which is um, Clark Ashton Smith's, the first collection of his ginormous stuff. And I started it. But then I was like, ooh, what else is there? So I got great classic ghost stories, great classic horror, and casting the runes. Dude. Um, let me tell you. So, these, I listened to all of them. Um, they just are like a ton of ghost stories and horror stories. And this is where I found that Saki guy in the open window story um, that was just excellent. Um, but, like, Washington Irving, Ambrose Bierce, M.R. James, um, what else is in here? Uh, Charles Dickens. Um, oh, uh, The Upper Birth by F. Marion Crawford. Um, just so much good stuff. And I've just been, um, oh, and mocking, um, like the Bowman and crap. And I've just been, like, drinking this stuff in, man. And it's been so much fun. And so I'm just like digging all these like little stories. But then, um, I can't remember if it was before I did this or after I did this. Um, oh, and I also got Can Such Things Be by Ambrose Bierce. And um, I'm seriously almost done with that. I forgot I had it. Um, that was one of the... Um, audible free books and I was listening to it but then started getting all this other stuff and forgot about it and whatever um but I also picked up a Poe book that um is like the complete Poe which was also included in audible man they should be like passing me some green over here for all this audible stuff I'm doing and I listened to um, all my favorite, um, Poe stories, and, um, I did a video about it, I think, um, yeah, I did, I did, 
and um, that was just classic. Like, that was just so much fun. So I've just been reading a ton of short stories. But, um, and then um, as you do, when you do all this, you go, oh, you know what? The King in Yellow by Robert W. Chambers is awesome. I'm just going to read that again. So I did that. Um, and I even went through all the other, um, because everyone's like, oh, the first four, that's the King in Yellow. And everything else, it's kind of, doesn't really apply. Um, and I went through all the rest of it. And um, a couple of them are kind of spooky. Um, and then some of them are just like, the only thing that like really ties them all together is like the theme of the artists and um, Paris and all this stuff. But <clears throat> um, it's all good. You know, I mean, it's not as, um, like, mind-shattering as the King in Yellow Tales. But, um, I think, honestly, like, there's some of the ghost story, like, not ghost story, but the weird stories in the second half of the King in Yellow, I think three of them at least are better than the mask, you know, um, that's gonna cause some arguments in the comments, I'm sorry guys, Let, let's, let's do this, it's been like a, a fight brewing, ready to simmer, no, ready to boil over for like over 120 years, so 25 years, 26 years, let's do this, it's time. Um, so yeah, so that's how I completely um, aborted my um, TBR. And um, for those of you who saw what my March Mystery Madness TBR is, just know that that has changed a lot too. I've added tons of books to it like a douche. So, um, we might be having a conversation like this again very soon. Um, but if you would like to join the, um, Death in the Clouds read-along, um, I would love to have ya. Um, the Discord link is down below. And, um, uh, yeah, I have tons of stuff to talk to you guys about, so I might just make another video. So I'll see you later.